everybody wants to be successful, and yet we all have different ideas of what that is. Finding success is the journey we embark upon to go and get what's ours. We are willing to travel down within to find our greatness buried deep inside of us. Questioning society's views and flipping the script, putting our own stamp on life. We're here because our future is within our control. Finding success is how we grab hold of what is possible. The relentless pursuit of success starts here. We are Finding Success and we are here to help break that monotony of your life and help you find your own version of success. Welcome to another episode, guys. I'm here with Adam and myself. How are you doing, Adam? I'm good, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, man. Good week? Really good. Really good week. Again, still progressing. Um, weather's getting better. Episode 42. It is. We're cracking on, dude. We're cracking on. No, you can't stop us now. We're having such a good time. Who sung that song? I don't think that was the right lyrics, was it? It was, I don't know. Don't stop at night. I can't remember. It was, it was, a, it was a mashup. Finally, she says mashup. Was that, was waka, waka, waka. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what film was that from? Uh, Big old scene yeah, in the no, film. It was huge. Um, it comes in the jukebox, doesn't it? Oh, does it? Oh, I think I'm yeah. thinking of a different film. I want to. I'm. I'm imagining a car in a in a nah. runway. Nah. People that are on YouTube can see me doing that. <laughs> if you're listening, can you let us know? Because starts on this. Oh, you know it, Simon Pegg, Mick Frost. Oh, mm. <laughs> what that song? Yeah, they're in a pub, the Winchester. No, what is this song? Oh, mate. It's oh, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get, get it. Get the film. It's the greatest film of all time. <laughs> oh, mate. What are you playing at? I can't think of what's called. Cool. I can think of all the quotes. Never, never got them swans then. No, what not is that it? film. Oh, There's the them Winchester. Two actors. Yeah. It's them two actors, but not Hot Fuzz. Film. Not Hot Fuzz. Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Shaun crap. of the Dead. Good. Oh, he's not. Hot Fuzz is better. Yeah, Hot Fuzz is good. Hot Fuzz Not quite good as Shaun of the Dead, though, but. No, anyway, we're getting off subject. Yeah, already. <laughs> Damn, doesn't take us long, does it? Um, so, episode 42, this week is going to be about something close to our hearts. Yeah. Hang on, let me get up my notes because I've got all that stuff in a minute. What does success look like? That yeah. is the question we're asking. And we're hoping to be able to answer it. Well, we will, from our point of view. In our point of view, yeah, yeah. exactly. Because that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Success is completely subjective. There is no... Objective Definition. success is that. All right. That's what I'm going to go into. It's, actually, it's two trains of thoughts for me, but this is what I'm going to go down. The world sees successful as rich and famous. Yeah. In my eyes, that's yeah, how I... You see someone rich and famous. Oh, he's successful. He's doing well, you know. Oh, good yeah. on him. But I don't mean sh- Yeah. Sorry. Got to edit that <laughs> out. I'll put time stamp. <laughs> um, it doesn't mean anything. It... My p- example at the minute in the news is recently fresh. You see them all over Instagram. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Yeah, you man. see what's going down with them. It's, yeah, just, it's yeah. unfortunate, but it's it's life. Um, you'd think they're both very they're rich and famous. You yeah. think they're both very successful people. Yeah. But their relationship is not successful. No, from some of the stories that we've <laughs> seen, it's not evident. Nice at all, yeah. <laughs> so, wow. It, it, so that's to me. It, oh, he is successful because he's he's done well in his, his films, but he's not successful at relationships and. The way I see success is successful in all those areas, your relationships, your personal relationships, your work, your home health. life, your just everything, your, your personal health, everything. Yeah. That is what success looks like to me. And personally, I don't think it's achievable. No. No, I agree. It's So this this finding success, um, it's not a destination. I had a lad ask me the other day, sir, have you found success yet? <laughs> give me some Give me some stick. And I said to him, I was like, ah, no, lad. Do you know why? Because it's not, you can't find it. This is just us trying to. It's the journey. Yeah. Finding success is the journey of chasing perfection, essentially. Yeah. Chasing excellence. It's it's not a destination, and we have to learn to enjoy the, the journey. Yeah, it, it, is, it is the journey. You know, the reason, again, we chose the name Finding Success is because, as you just said, it's a journey. You, you, there's no, There's no, you can't go to someone this is the definition of success. And once you've ticked all those boxes, then you're successful. It doesn't work like that. It, as you said, it, it's your own journey. For instance, people who are on the other side of this podcast that are listening to now, you know, they could be very wealthy business people. They could be um, 
an elite athlete. They could be whoever, a shop owner. If they've reached their own destination of success and they've had a long journey, but they've got there, no matter what route they've taken, if they define themselves as successful, well done. You've done it. Mm. it, it you've reached your destination. Mm. I sound like a tom-tom. <laughs> we spoke about <laughs> yes last week. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're there. There's no, there's no real, as you said, there's no real destination. It, not it, there's not, like, you can't just define success. It's it's something you build. Yeah. It's like just laying that brick, just laying that brick of hard work that day. So eating three times a day and sleeping at night in a nice warm bed, you wouldn't say it was very successful, was it? No. That's just, every, so most, chances are if you're listening, you're eating three times a day and you're sleeping well at night. Yeah. For a homeless man to be able to feed himself that day and find somewhere warm to sleep, that's a successful day. Yeah, so, I think he's just won a lottery in his. It probably is own yeah. mind. Yeah, it's you know, so it's complete. It's all about perspective. Just putting things, and that that helps you get through a lot of things as well. I think. Yeah. If you're going through, it's always hard to beat yourself up, and when you're going through stuff that's really tough, it, it always feels like the world's against you. But sometimes it's it's good to take a step back and just realize, oh, actually, I'm doing all right from there. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's quite funny when. I'm not going to go into this whole rabbit hole again. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be a good boy. <laughs> we look at the world and perceive, we, we walk down the street, High Street, London, for instance, and someone drives past us, drives past us in a Lambo and we're in like a black cab and think, oh, what, I'd, what I'd do to be like him one day. You know, what, it, it'd just be my life goal to drive a Lambo. It might be your life goal. That's fine. And he's looking at the person ahead of him and he's driving a Bentley. He's like, oh, mm. what I'd love to do to have a Bentley, you know. There's always a person that you want to be. So... You're, you're never ever the worst person. There's, there's always someone worse than you or someone ahead of you. So you can only just judge yourself on how you perceive things like that. It's, yeah. Spawn, when you focus on yourself, that's, that's for me is a level of success. When you can focus on yourself, you're not interested in what anyone else is doing around you. You're focused on your journey. Yeah. Right? So for me, I would be, I've, I've not had a perfectly successful, a perfect week since starting this journey. Yeah. Since in you know, 2020, yeah. whenever we started this. I've not had one perfect yeah right which is why i'm not because i'm not successful yet but or i wouldn't class myself as being successful yet because i'm i'm i've just not done it yet there's always something that you can improve on exactly that that's what so that's what i mean that's exactly what i'm trying to get to so that successful to me is when i get that day-to-day -day routine absolutely nailed and i'm hitting the targets i want to hit i'm hitting my just my routine is working for me um if i if i do these things and basically all that's doing is day to day, it's not a lot. You're not gaining much. Yeah. But as long as you lay in that brick that day and the next day and the next day and the next day, you're going to build something pretty impressive. Yeah. That's, it's, it's power of compounding. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going. It, it's going to turn it's up. Endless results. Do you know how many, this is really random, do you know how many bricks there are in the Great Wall of China? No. So it's, you're going to tell me that. I'm pretty sure you're going to tell me. I am going to tell you that. That's right. Thank you. Because I'm not going to sleep if, unless I know this fact. Well, then I've forgotten it. I sleep, sleep. this night. Yeah. No. Right, so it's estimated because... Have you, I don't know if there's loads of walls of China. It's not just one single wall. Is yeah, it? It's like it's, loads of different... Yeah. From different dynasties and so on and so forth. Uh, but from the Ming Dynasty era, they reckon there's about 3.8 billion bricks. It will take a few hundred thousand because some, some of it's been nicked. Local like villages have just taken them and started building their own houses. All the bricks. bricks and, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, some of them up in the mountains are still perfect because they're like up in the mountains, no one can get to them. Yeah. Made out of stone and so on and so forth. But then the ones like near the fields, near all the people that were building them back then, they made like, they started making it out of like just compressed earth. The bricks were made of compressed earth. It was really interesting. But 3.8 billion. That's a huge amount of bricks. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm trying to get is just keep laying it and you'll build something great like the Great Wall of China. Every single day, focus on what you've set yourself to do. Yeah. Have some discipline in what you're doing because that's again I we both know motivation doesn't last long no no you can run out of that in an hour yeah easy Crack. easy how many times you sat at your laptop I'm just going uh, not today I'm done yeah yeah but discipline push on and actually it's quite good at the end of it if you get, do get what you want to get done done it's awesome so discipline with your daily habits with your daily routines if I'm able to have that week in week out I class myself as being quite successful yeah doesn't matter if I'm not multi-billionaire if I'm if I'm doing as I've set out to do, that is for me. Uh, but you can guarantee that once you've done that and you've had your perfect week, 
and you've done your routine, you've 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 ticked off all your accountability sheet and you're happy, it's all green, no red, there's going to be another task ahead of you. There's going to be another, I want to re- release another piece of content. I want to earn a certain amount of money. I want to run a certain amount of miles. I want to lift a certain amount of weight. It's you against you every single day. So no matter what happens or what week in, week out, that, that goalpost is always moving. And we yeah. have to move it because if we don't, we're never going to progress. Yep. As you said, if we, if, if we say, oh, I'm going to lay one brick today, you've laid that one brick. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to lay two tomorrow. You lay two. I'm going to lay three, three, three. And it just keeps ever growing, ever growing, ever growing. And it's us against us. It's you against you. It's plain and simple. There's nothing special about it. It's your own definition against your own definition. If you define success as driving a Lambo and owning a big house, then that's fine. That's what you want to do. If, as I said, Butson defines success as his routine and keeping it and driving day in, day out, then that's down to him. You know, I've got my own definition of success. I'm sure you have as well. So basically, you've got to tell yourself what you think your own version of success is. Unfortunately, it's not. <laughs> That's a great podcast. Great. <laughs> You've got to do the work yourself. Yeah. yeah That's well, the way it is. No one's, no one's there for you. Yeah. You are on your own in this world. Whatever, we, whatever it is you want to do, all right, you might get the odd handout every now and then. You might get lucky. But what? Well, do you believe in luck? I believe in making your own luck. I mean, yeah, I'm a bleater, yeah, I'm the same. Have you heard that quote? Um, I don't know if it was a boxer or a golfer. Or I think it was a golfer. He goes, he was, he was doing really, really well winning championships. Um, he goes, yeah, yeah, it's really weird. The harder I work, the luckier I get. Because everyone's saying he was just lucky winning these. Well, I think it was golf, or maybe boxing. It's really not. I didn't. I didn't plan to bring this up. With this guy. I didn't Sorry. know we were going to go here, so I'm, I didn't get the person's name or anything. But yeah, the, the harder I practice, the luckier I get. It's weird, yeah. and it's so true because you do essentially make your own luck. Like if you put yourself in the right position, you put yourself out there. I don't know. I th- yeah, if you just keep grinding. If you're sitting on the sofa every day, and no offense to people that sit on the sofa, because if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But if you sit on the sofa every day and you expect to become one day a millionaire, it's not going to happen. You have to put the work in. If you go out and buy a lottery ticket every single day and you think you're going to be the next lottery winner, and if that's what your definition of success is, then fine, go and work at it. But that isn't going to alone going to make you successful. You might make you rich, but it's not going to make you successful. You're not going to be fit. You're not going to be healthy. Your relationship might be terrible. Have you, have you, you defined it? Yeah. Just... Yeah, I'm not going to enforce it too hard. <laughs> the harder you work, the easier it's going to become. For sure. Let's face it. So have a think. Have a think what you, your version of success looks like. Maybe write it down. We both write down goals, don't we? Because it, it helps to visualize it. We've gone back. We've done this over in the past. Yeah. In previous episodes. I'll link goal setting episode down below. Um, That was in the 20s, wasn't it? Episode 20s? Yeah. Like maybe like even that, teens. Yeah. Way back. Um. And just, just have a think, write down your goals, just see what you want, what your version of success looks like and start getting after it. It's, it's, so, it's so simple. Yeah, it can't be simple. No, no, exactly. Just do your own thing. And as long as it's successful to you. It, it's like the other day. Do you know what? I had this, um, it was quite funny. I was in the gym trying to get healthy, trying to be successful in my own, my own right. And I was in the gym, and I think I was uh, I was deading, doing some deadlifts. Nice. Grow the exercise. That's right. And uh, I was building through the reps, pyramiding. Like weight? Increasing in weight, decreasing in reps. Got to my final set. I was banging on 140. I'm like, I'm going to be a big boy. I look over to my right, and there's um, another guy who's in marketing. Mate, this, he's, this guy is such a nice bloke. Machine. Absolute machine. Into CrossFit as well. Oh. Mega. And uh, he was proper hyped about what the session he was doing. He was <laughs> sweating buckets. And I was like, mate, he was going after it. What a lad. Banged on 170. <sighs> and like just PB 170. I'm like, I'm looking no at way. my 140. <laughs> I'm like, well, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to bang on 170. I want to be the same yeah. as him. Uh, that's an ego thing. Like, I'm not going to do that because I know for a while I'm never going to hit 170. I'm training at my own. It's me against me. I'm, impre- I'm, I'm, I'm improving every single day. I've gone from 120, 130, and I'm banging out 140s. He's just banged out 170. He's just PR'd him, his, his, his self. It's him against him. And he was so hyped when he came off it. It was like, mate, I've just PR'd him <laughs> dead, so I'm well happy. And I, that's awesome. Like, it was just, yeah. It's just good to see, but it's everywhere. Go to the gym, and you can look at someone, and they could be like lifting 10 kilos. But if they've made an improvement from 9 to 10, and they're happy with it, be happy for them. 
And if you're the same, if you're going from 10 to 11, be happy with yourself. You know, just let yourself have success. Let yourself approve of what you've done. And it's you against you. It's, it's plain and simple. So just, it's around you everywhere. Coach Amarjim had some serious shoulder injury. She's, been, she's not been able to train, I think it's her right shoulder for about two years now. She's had steroids going in there. She's had all sorts. It's nothing, something's not quite working. Um, but more recently, she's been given the go-ahead to start using it. And so now she started snatching because, yeah. you know, Olympic lifting. Um, because she's allowed to. Not with much weight, literally like empty bar, five, ten kilos on either side, max, which is nothing compared to what she used to be able to do. Yeah. But for her, it's such a big win to be able to use her shoulder again. Yeah. She can start doing Hyped. workouts yeah, that she hasn't done in two years and she's, she's just over the moon because, again, she's not comparing herself to the the owner of the gym or the other the, the big boys there you know it's not not interested yeah yeah that's not that's not the race the race is she gets to use her shoulder again yeah and she's loving it she's the happiest person in the gym and it's awesome to see it's, yeah, it's just great to see people succeed yeah and you need to be the person that knows that as well because i think a lot of people sit out there and i'm going to go into a bit of a tangent but i'm not going to go too far into it that see their friends succeeding and they're like i can't let them succeed ever me and it's good to have a bit of competition. It's really good because you can keep pushing yourself on. But remember, your friend's different to you. Your friend's got a different path to you. If they're not on the same thing, if they want to be the best mechanic in the world, then you want to be the most successful investor in the world, and that's fine. But be appreciative of what those people are doing and how they're doing it and just support them. And I'm sure it's going to come around and they're going to support you as well. Don't ever put, be down or look down on people. No. We're all here to learn and grow together. So support your other side of family, friend, or whatever. Don't don't should we go, ah oh, he's he's not he's not wealthy as me. He must be really, really poor. Yeah. No, they're not. Actually in some respect they're probably better because they're healthier than you, but you might be more wealthy. It doesn't matter. Just yeah. Go on. No, spot. So we were talking about this before the podcast. We we're saying about you've got two contacts that are leaving you, you might you're not gonna work with them again. Yeah. But keep on good terms. Yeah, them. yeah, exactly. <clears throat> you don't know how far that's gonna go in the future. And not even just in our industry in the world, if you've got long distance family, uh, just be a good person to people. Yeah, people. It's interesting. People want to see people be successful, but they never want to see them more successful than themselves. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. a really bad trait. It's yeah. horrendous. And if you can ignore that, you can get through that and say, "No, I want to see people go as far as they they possibly can." Yeah, even if it's further than what you are achievable of, you'd be much uh, mega think, feeling though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a mega feeling. It's awesome. Mega feeling for them, mega feeling for you. Yeah. It's almost selfish. It is, yeah. Because you if want you that don't. feeling. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to add, dude? Crap. I'm out. I think I've said everything. Yeah, mega. All right, awesome. Um, do you want to close this one out? You're good at closing out. Oh, do you want me to close out? I'll close out if you want me to. He's better at closing out. That's what you think. So, <laughs> thanks for listening, everyone. Um, another quick episode. Uh, the reason behind the name it is now out there it's now out there you all understand why it's there what we perceive ourselves as a little bit more and what you perceive yourself as a little bit more just think about it you know like as Butson said if you've got something that you're working towards write it down um, let yourself know that that's what you're working towards work towards it every day look at it every single day you know just a couple of things that will just help you progress on your overall journey um don't forget, if you haven't already, go back to episode one, give it a listen, um, and follow the nice little strategy that is I'm coming from these episodes as well, guys. We've got a good little section there. Um, and now you, uh, episode 42, we're growing. So please also as well, don't forget to rate, review, and share this podcast with your family and your friends. People who, who are watching this, thank you very much for watching on YouTube. People who are listening to this, thank you very much for listening. If you've got any questions... Links will be down below. We hope you like our new wall art again as he looks into it. It's like the distance. Just thinking we could have, right. could have, this is what take this build successful. But you knew that if you were looking at that. Yeah. Anyone on YouTube? Read you read it already. Uh, but for now, guys, have a good rest of your week and weekend. Um, and see you next time. Success is available for everybody. So why should you use it?